Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the Subtech Off-Road Life Channel. You can call me Greg Subtech or Mac. And today we have a real treat for me. That's right. This is kind of a throwback, and we get to see some some cool people that you probably already know, and uh, an old love of mine shows up. So, if I got you curious, I hope so. Without any further ado, here we go. Sunday, 11:55 a.m. The footage you are about to see holds great emotional value for me. At the time I shot this footage, I still own Big Blue. My 2017 High Lifter Razor 1000 XP. That beautiful velocity blue skin, gear reduction, snorkels, outlaw mud tires, and a 110 horsepower Pro Star power plant roaring behind me. Granted, it wasn't the ideal setup for Tennessee terrain where Big Blue and I put in a lot of hours, but Big Blue really shined when we hit that Alabama peanut butter mud, those Arkansas Rocky Bottom Creeks, and the swamp water trails of Florida. Nevertheless, Big Blue handled these rocky rolling hills and deep cut haulers of Tennessee like a pro. Little 30 inch mud tires and all. Should have never sold Big Blue and wish I had handled things differently at the time. I missed that razor but let it be known I am feverishly working on a plan to acquire a new one. The footage from this day also holds more nostalgia for me because of the cast of characters at play. You see, around this area most of the off-road people have grown up together, went to school together, worked together, or simply met on the trails and became good friends. I may not originally be from this area, but I feel I have been accepted as one of their own. In fact, as I edit this video, I can say I am officially family. Because this man, Kenny Buchanan, is my son-in-law. Now Kenny can ride that bike like there's no tomorrow. He also owns a Jeep Cherokee, and he's definitely not afraid to take it on the trails and send it. He and my daughter Melissa are also the proud owners of a new four-seater Razor 1000 XP. And I suspect there are some good times coming with that as well. Anyway, to my point, a lot of the people I have come to call friends and family showed up at West Point that day and made appearances in the video. Hence, the nostalgia. place of legend. More video shot at the bull has been released to the world through social media than from any other spot in West Point, Tennessee. There are some close seconds and we'll get to those places as well, but the bull is by far the most popular location for motorized mayhem to be recorded and dispersed to those narcissists supporting World Wide Web social platforms we all love and cherish. Many cybersides and human appendages have been broken and smashed on these red clay walls. And yet, many off-roaders to this day still clamor to take their chances up the side of the bowl. However, the truth be known, that adrenaline pumping race up the walls of the bowl are not all that dangerous. The legends of mayhem and destruction is perpetuated mostly by the follies of the uninitiated and unskilled. Those drivers that are new to the sport with overpriced machines that make them feel invincible. Those riders that haven't been schooled by the experienced hill climber and maybe use too much skinny pedal or maybe not enough on the way up. 
Whatever the reason, the West Point Bowl is well known throughout the vast off-roading community stretching far across the Deep South. On this particular day, like many others, I found a mud hole and had to play while I waited for everybody else to congregate at the bowl. After my little ride through the water, I got caught up in conversation and didn't get any real video from the bowl. We decided to hit some trails and as usual found ourselves stopped on a trail trying to decide which way to go so we could ensure that all vehicles get to the next destination. Well this is the way we come out last from it last night. Yeah, because you can take this trail on around and it just goes around for a good while. Like, if y'all can make it. We can make it. I don't no, know we're about going down at any rate. You can make it. I don't know about this one. You can make it. Well, that's the reason I asked. I was just being respectful. I was just being oh, no. Well, I was just making sure y'all was good. If I can't make it, he can make it for me. Go back, go back up there and we'll go back around and there's a couple ways in there, really. Whatever you well, blah, blah, blah. Whatever way y'all want to go is cool with me. We'll manage. And with that, we were off. At first, there was just a few of us as we made our way to our first destination. On the motorcycles were Tyler and Diamond Hensley, and of course, Kenny. If memory serves me right, this may have been the first time I had met Tyler and Diamond. But since then, they have become regulars on many of my off-roading adventures. In fact, Tyler provided my cameras with the best ever and very epic hold my beer moment. If you have been following any of my Facebook posts, you may have seen this. Then there's Chris Casey. He rides one of the nicer turbos I have seen. Now I've never told Chris what I'm about to say, but if truth be told, and I was in a position to hire a voiceover artist for my videos, I would certainly hit him up and offer the position. I've got an ear for these kinds of things, and Chris has the voice, accent, and cadence in his speech that would go great with the type of videos I make. I'll bet no one has ever told him he could have a future as a voiceover artist. Also in this group was David Aquila. We call him many things, but my favorite is David the Hill Killer. David always took on a climbing challenge and kept trying until he either made it to the top or wrecked his ride. Sadly, David has sort of disappeared from the riding community. Don't know why and only now and then I hear rumors of his whereabouts or what he may be doing. It is my hope that someday he will return to us. I'll admit, I kind of miss riding with him. However, I do still have a lot of unedited footage where he is present and will someday get it online. It was time to move on and we decided our next destination was Two-Step. 
Two-Step is another fairly well-known spot in West Point, Tennessee. Riders will start on one side, fly down the hill, and then maintaining their momentum, they will fly up the other side. You might even catch a little air at the top if you got the skills. First step is down, second step is up. I assume that is how it got its name, Two-Step. As soon as we got there, many more friends started showing up, and the fun ensued. The Wall, another fairly well-known spot in West Point, Tennessee. Many videos depicting both victory and defeat have been created and released from the Wall as well. Some drivers have had their 15 minutes of fame at the Wall. But on that same note, many side-by-sides have met their demise. Unlike the bowl or two-step, the Wall demands a larger set of balls to attempt to jump. And on this day, there were only two riders with the required equipment. Kenny Buchanan and Tyler Hensley, of course. Dude, that was a hard hit. Nobody else in the group attempted to jump that day. Can't really blame them either. It was a late afternoon on a Sunday, and the possibility of breaking something and then dragging it back to the trailer just was not an appealing idea. Nevertheless, we continued to socialize and do some more trail riding. As the evening grew closer, many packed up and went home. But not me. I had to take one last run for the day and just enjoy the beauty of West Point, Tennessee. Well, hell yeah. West Point, Tennessee is a cool place to ride. It's uh, NATRA, or North Alabama Trail Riders Association. It's a club, and you pay due, yearly dues, and you get to ride there all you want. Uh, I think the last time I paid $70, it may have gone up to maybe 75 I don't know, a year. And you can ride there 24-7, 365. So even if you're out of state somewhere and you pay the $75 and you make the trip down there and camp and ride for a weekend, that's paid for it. Any other times that you come down and ride, it's uh, well worth it. Anyway, uh, as you saw in the video, there was, uh, of course, Big Blue, my old razor, to whom I miss very much, <laughs> and my son-in-law, Kenny. Tyler, David, <sighs> Trevor, Gabe, Tanner, a whole bunch of people that I ride with a lot and know around here. And it was just fun watching and fun putting together. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again. I will talk to you later.
Bye-bye.